GPRT delegation has a look at the report presented before us as a dangerous trends of interference in internal affairs of sovereign state based on unreliable and incredible sources in the activities of the UN human rights mechanism. It is obviously selective and politically motivated approach and it proves itself that it is another attempt to manipulate the Human Rights Council in its own political interest. The main goal of this process is aimed at demonizing a legitimate sovereign state and changing its power ultimately. It is absolutely unacceptable. We continue to oppose and reject any practice and attempt of selective targeting of a sovereign state and political interference in their internal affairs under the pretext of human rights. We note with appreciation the measures taken by the government of Nicaragua to strengthen its judicial and electrical system and its laws as it centers on the dignity and protection of human rights of Nicaragans and safeguard peace. We urge HRC or HSCR to encourage genuine dialogue and cooperation with the state, carry out work based on its mandate in an objective and impartial manner, and stand against politicization, selectivity, and double standards of human rights. I thank you. Just last Friday, the Council held a forced dialogue against Nicaragua on the basis of an interventionist resolution that has nothing to do with true protection and promotion of human rights. Now it is uh, time to look at a report from the new mechanism to bully Nicaragua, fabricated by that resolution. Just to give an example, it questions and suggests change of its national electoral system. This is a gross violation of sovereignty and of the respect to to non-interference in the internal effects affairs of states. The backdrop to this new offensive was the indisputable results of its municipal elections held in full peace and harmony in a civic celebration with full participation by the people. Keeping Nicaragua on the agenda of this council is part of a plan orchestrated in order to try to justify the imposition of the illegal, inhuman, unilateral, coercive measures against Nicaragua by which are true crimes against humanity. The government of Venezuela reaffirms its full support to the brotherly people of Nicaragua and its government and will continue firmly to oppose politicization, selectivity and double standards in the work of this council. Thank you, President. The report presented to Council today and the activity of the mechanism established without the agreement or the interest of Nicaragua are not an instrument for dialogue and cooperation in human rights. They merely create additional tension and confrontation as the authors of the report were not able to overcome their bias and are not attempting to present an objective picture of the situation. Moreover, they appear to deliberately discord the processes in the country in order to reach unfounded recommendations and conclusions for further exacerbation the situation. This approach does not facilitate the seeking of new opportunities to restore trust and cooperation and leave the situation in a stalemate. The Human Rights Council it should stop misusing country topics, the only purpose of which is to provide to exert further pressure on states which select their own path for development. Thank you. Cuba is opposed and will continue to oppose the resolution that gave rise to this dialogue, which shows politicization, selectivity and double standards that prevail in this council. We must understand that only through dialogue, mutual respect and constructive cooperation can we contribute to the promotion and protection of human rights in all countries. President, we reiterate our unflagging support to the Sandinista government and the people of Nicaragua who continue to work tirelessly for sustainable development, peace, justice, well-being and social emancipation. As we said last week, truly acting for human rights means demanding the immediate cancellation of the unilateral coercive measures against Nicaragua and other countries of the South whose effects are an obstacle to the full enjoyment of human rights of the peoples of the affected countries. We reiterate our strong opposition to politicization, imposition of punitive measures and unlawful use of the bodies and mechanisms of the United Nations to manipulate the internal situation in Nicaragua, destabilize its democratically elected government and damage its international image. Thank you. The Islamic Republic of Iran vehemently opposes the confrontational debate of the Council on developing countries, including on Nicaragua. 
The unfair approach towards Nicaragua based on the unverified resources signifies the negligence of relentless efforts undertaken by the government of Nicaragua in overcoming obstacles and challenges, mainly emanating from opposition, imposition of unilateral coercive measures that hurdle the enjoyment of people of Nicaragua from their fundamental human rights, in particular economic, cultural and social rights. The effort and pattern of attacking a sovereign nation in the pretext of human rights irreparably da damage the function and idea of the Council. We welcome the efforts undertaken by the government of Nicaragua in imp improving human rights of their people, especially for their achievements in improving the right to health, education and work. The will and steps taken by the government of Nicaragua in fighting extreme poverty and eradication of illiteracy are something that should be recognized and supported. Thank you. Thank you. President, the Russian Federation has consistently advocated for an objective and non-politicized work within the Human Rights Council. We do not support uh, maintaining the group, uh, mandate of the group of experts on Nicaragua. Their report is replete with accusatory rhetoric and the alleged authenticity of evidence is based on vague phrases such as there are reasonable grounds to believe. The authors disregard the adverse effect of unlawful sanctions introduced by the US, the UK and their satellites against Nicaragua. Moreover, we are astonished to see the recommendations of the expert to extend sanctions to organizations and individuals. Such declarations fully discredit this mechanism, which is already calling for the use of sanctions as a tool to coerce sovereign states and impose borrowed values on them. Critical attacks against Managua are to a large extent due to Washington, London's uh, and aims, as well as the, those of their satellites, to reshape this country in their own interest as it conducts its independent policy. After the failed attempted coup in 2018, organized and sponsored from abroad, the Collective West is continuing its anti-Nicaragua campaign in the Human Rights Council, demonstratively disregarding the achievements of the lawful government of Nicaragua. The poverty level has fallen by 24 degrees, extreme poverty by 14 degrees, uh, uh, percent, and we call upon the uh, to refrain from such politicized attempts. Madam, you have the floor. Eritrea respects the right of developing countries to independently determine their own future and destiny. We demand that the Council stops the recycling of reports to disparage societies who have decided to take their future into their own hands. We have always advocated that all parties conduct constructive dialogue on human rights issues on the basis of equality and mutual respect and with ultimate objective of safeguarding human, human rights and fundamental freedoms. Contrary to that, we are witnessing these days the increasing tendency to establish counterproductive special mandates leading to confrontation and division among member states on the vision on how best could the Council deliver its lofty objectives. The fact that this Council considers the same issue in Nicaragua in, the, in this very same session by itself testifies to the lack of sincerity and objectivity to serving human rights. And we call on the, count, the Council to cooperate fully and to understand each other. Thank you, Mr. President. Reiteramos nuestro rechazo a las decisiones que van contra, contra países que son una injerencia en la situación. Por otro lado, la resolución 49 se, se tomó de forma no consensuada. Uh, no, fashion ¿ves? without taking into consideration uh, the interest of the state. Uh, we no, 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 no. Nicaragua's efforts to promote no. human rights uh, and to, to establish a judiciary legislation and an electoral system as well as other measures taken in Nicaragua to fight eh, against the coercive unilateral measures and uh, the para poder gozar de sus derechos, no, eh, de sus derechos fundamentales a la educación y a la salud eh, China respects Nicaragua's sovereignty, independence, and territory integrity, respects its people's right to independently determine their own future and destiny, and resolutely opposes external forces interfering in its internal affairs under the pretext of democracy and human rights. The UCMs imposed by certain countries on Nicaragua are a manifestation of power politics and coercive diplomacy, seriously hindering economic and social development of the country and gravely violating the human rights of its people. Such measures should thus be lifted 
immediately. The Council should observe the purposes and principles of the UN Charter, adhere to the principles of objectivity and non-selectivity, actively conduct constructive dialogue, and provide no stage for hegemonic and dominion acts, confrontation and pressuring. The international committee should, with the consent of the government and its people, do more things that contribute to economic development and improvement of people's livelihood in a bid to truly advance the human rights cause in Nicaragua. Thank you, Mr. President.